cleaning the hull of the unicorn today. And as I'm cleaning the hull, a lot of crabs are becoming homeless. And some of those crabs have a tendency to crawl into my ears. <laughs> He's already after me. Is he sitting on top of me? It's crabs and shrimps and all kinds of critters that just try to find all kinds of places on your body, in your pockets and in your ears to just find a new home. And like then, yeah, you can try to get them out, but you just like, they just go further in your ear. You could try to get them out with a cotton ball, but there's the chance that they just uh, stress and that they start biting in your eardrum. Um, you can just go to sleep. Eventually they'll get hungry. If it's a crab, they'll just walk out because they get hungry and they go look for food. Uh, if it's a shrimp, it will die. And then the next day it just like falls out of your ear. But I found out if you give the crab an alternative place, like you hold your ear to something that they like to stay on. They like to stay on those, those ropey things like then they will come out. They don't really like being inside of your ear, but they feel kind of safe there. But I would rather sit somewhere that's familiar to them. So I'm now holding my ear against it underwater. And then sometimes the crab just comes out and then it's sitting onto the ropes. Here is the propeller. That's where the big dudes hang out. I like using plastic brushes for the scraping because they do the least damage to the anti-fouling. And every time I make a cloud of dust and homeless shrimps, I swim away a little bit so they don't have a chance to get on top of me. And then they swim to the bottom or I don't know where. And then I get back to work. I'm not sure if you can see it, but here are all the shrimps slowly drying up, dying on my swimming trunks. Anyway, it's a good day to die here in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, and I'll see you tomorrow.